With the war going on for almost over a year, peace is nowhere in sight. But what should peace look like? I'll explain in this video exactly what it should look like and what it shouldn't look like. What do I mean by this? I'm saying we need a solution where both sides claim victory. Yes, so you've heard the intro. Today I'll be talking about why the best solution should be an agreement where both sides can agree group victory. This war should not be a side where everyone knows the winner and everyone knows the winner, loser. It should be a war where people decades to come will debate about how Ukraine actually won or how Russia actually won or something like that. Now, what should that solution look like? I've got a couple ideas. I'll give you two scenarios. One in favour of Russia, one in favour of Ukraine. First, the U in favour of Ukraine. Borders go to their pre-war borders. That means Russia doesn't keep the Donbass republics and they regain independence. It, but has to like disband the nationalist battalions like ban and implement token rules about how stopping Nazis into the Ukrainian army and stuff like that. And I uh, implement laws on protecting Russian and Russian speakers in Ukraine. So give more rights to the Russians. Make it a second official minority language or something like that and implement laws protecting the minority Russian community and majority in certain parts of Ukraine and not joining NATO but can join the EU. I think that's a pretty good deal for Ukraine. I, f I think that would be the you know, and Russia could claim victory because like accomplishing like the uh, free goals or whatever Vladimir Putin said at the start of the war. An ideal Russian solution where, where I think both sides can claim victory is uh, the liberation of the Donbass, uh, Ukraine, the restrictions on the Ukrainian army banning Nazis and stuff, or, or political radicals, and making Russians uh, a protected minority in Ukraine as always and for complete liberation of the Donbass they get to keep the Donbass but Zaporizhia and Kherson are returned to Ukraine and Ukraine can't join the European Union or NATO and stuff of course these are rough outlines and Ukraine and Russia know more what they want and what the other wants so they can come to an agreement and stuff but I'm just giving you, like, the general idea of what sh should happen. Because the way it's going, this war will not end for at least another year unless something very unexpected happens. It may take up to four years, possibly. I, I don't think that's an outlandish scenario. This war should have been ended in a couple of days. They, but it's gone on, ballooned for now almost a year. So that is all.